lose your cool, and face the consequences. But if the twists of the game turn your world upside down, only you can put it right again. Take a deep breath. And take the time to remind yourself who's in charge here. If you can win that battle and master your emotions, then when it's over, you can let it all hang out. Yes! It's a score. Chris is our champion today. We're coming right back with four from Costa Rica after this. it's legal to carry a gun, but in the casino, you have to check it at the door. Welcome back to the Casinos Europa at the Costa Rica Classic. I'm Vince Van Patten. And I'm Mike Sexton. And our chip leader by quite a wide margin is Cuban-born Luis Milanis, the tournament host and the owner of Casinos Europa. This is pretty amazing. The rich just keep getting richer. Luis is <laughs> dominating this field. It's pretty amazing. Let's see if somebody could put a little dent in, make a little run at Luis, and knock out the guy they call El Nino. El Nino. Here we go. <laughs> And Luis has picked up nine eight of hearts, suited connector, pretty interesting hand he's calling. No, 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 no. Look at look at Jamie. No, no, no. He bangs with all his chips in the pot with two eights. Jamie doing it again, going all in. Jose folds. Dewey Tomko folds. Jamie, look at her. All of Look at Luis folding, looking a little me. irritated. <laughs> he's saying, hey, I got some rifles in the basement. Don't be messing around with me. Well, He's got that kind of hand, a lot of chips. He wants to see a flop. It just pains him to throw that hand away, man. But, you know, impressive move by Jamie. Playing loosey-goosey. It is paying off for him. He really is. Playing well right now. You know, sometimes you play with reckless abandon. You just, you know, you win a hand, you're pushing it all this next hand. The These guys know it. They do call level. it, and they lose. The They're the eliminated. There's a lot at stake here. One false move. This isn't a limit game. This is no limit. And it's scary at times. <laughs> Okay, you see Louise is getting touched up there. You know, that's what hey, you call a, a poker makeover. The They're polishing his baldness in the back of his head there. I don't think we're supposed to have makeovers in poker. Okay, with five players left, Luis is still our big chip leader with 220,000 in chips. Jaime, Jamie, and Jose all have the upper 30,000s, and Dewey's a low man with 20-some thousand. Thank you. Okay. And Vince, the price of poker has just gone up. The blinds are 1,500 and 3,000. Okay, that means that they're already involved in the pot. So the tournament won't last 25 days. It speeds up action. Luis is first to act here. He's picked up a 10 and a king. And look at this. He's going to raise with just a 10 king off suit. Jaime quickly folds. Now look at Jamie. No, Luis. Yeah. Jamie, no, Luis, he says. Bang, he's coming over the top for all his money. This guy has a death wish. Just <laughs> raising Luis. <laughs> now, Luis says, count him down. Now, it's going to cost Luis about 24 more thousand to call this. Now, I don't believe he should make this call. He's in the commanding lead. But on the other hand, the last hand, I think he was a little distressed. He limped in. He got re-raised. Well, yeah, you're right. I mean, he's got to be frustrated. He is going to call. He's tired of getting pushed around by Jamie. He did. He's got a couple hundred thousand dollars. What the heck? Okay. This is King 10 versus two queens. Jamie's a big favorite here. King 10. Jamie is You know something? Just drop a king there. And Jamie could be eliminated here. Let's see. Yeah, the, the flop, flop comes, comes nine, 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 nine three. three. Jamie is in He's the hanging around now. Queens. It's still very good for Jamie. Next card doesn't help him. Okay. Four comes off. Right now, the kingpin's going to need a king, or Jamie Ligonier is going to double up. Jamie's done it. Luis gives him a little clap. Very little, I may add. <laughs> now, quite frankly, I see the first leak in the dam here for Luis. That was a very bad move to call an all-in bet with a king-10. It's a difference, Vince, if you're moving your chips yourself. If you're the first one to get in a pot, and no limit hold'em, normally the first guy to bet wins the pot. 
You know, if you're betting your chips, you can't be faulted. When you're calling your chips off like Luis just did, it's a bad tactical move. It's a bad play. Luis paid the price. He doubled up Jamie Ligator. Jamie Ligator loves it when poker players from the U.S. and Europe bring their poker games to Costa Rica, especially when they bring their bankroll. A lot of foreign card players come and start playing the games here, and their first impression is that the Costa Ricans are crazy, that they're going to kill us, that they're going to clean us up. Believe me, 100% of them go away broke from here. In first sight, they think they found poker heaven, that they're going to move here and make a living out of poker, and they never do. I haven't found one. I'm not professional, so uh, I play for fun and I try to do the best I can. The pressure gets to me though once I get close to the goal, yeah. There are some days that I just play wonderful and some days I just really play stupid and I get out early in the tournaments and I'm not consistent at all. I'm a coward. I'm a big coward. <laughs> when somebody sends, says all in on me, I'm more likely to fold. For all the downplaying of his ability, Jamie Ligator belongs at this final table. His talents are the equal of any of his fellow Costa Rican poker players. We have some excellent players who give the appearance of being wild, but they're very controlled. They know what they're doing. They give that appearance, they make somebody feel at ease, and they just are excellent readers, they're excellent players, they're aggressive. We have excellent players here. Well, Jamie Lickiter, now that time he had a big hand when he raised with two queens there. Absolutely. I mean, he's showing that he has heart and he has guts and, and great imagination. I mean, it's it's still very tough to make that play, and he's making it work for him today. The action's I mean, on him, and he folds. Jose folds, and Dewey folds, and now it's the battle of the blinds. Luis and Jaime. And Luis, Luis calls 1,500. Don't forget, in this game, it could be all over. Anytime you move all in, you're flirting with death in this game. Notice Luis has a four and a six. And Jaime has a pair of threes. Reina tres dos, check, check. Now a five. Look at this. Luis just caught the inside straight. Right now, he has the very best possible hand that you can have. And he comes out and bets 3,000, a very small bet, bet, trying 3, to 000. throw the bait out there for his opponent. His opponent took the Jaime bait and called a 3,000. Last card is a king. Now this is interesting because it's kind of a milk bet before. You don't want to over bet. You want to get the guy to call because you have the absolute rocks, a cinch. He puts a stack out there. Looks like about 15,000. Now look at his face here. That's what we want to look at because he has the very best possible hand you can have. The man has got to be so excited. Look at him. He's got the cinch. He's got a guy that might call him. Who knows? He might raise him, he's thinking. This is why we, why we play poker. Well, Jaime only has a pair of threes. Jaime mean, throws his hand away, and no Luis shows him the four and the six, the best six, possible the hand. The straight, the nuts straight. Now, here's something I don't think a professional would do either. You don't show your opponent the nuts when they don't call you. Okay. Well, professionals don't own casinos either, so <laughs> what are you going to do? Well, you got a point there. We are in the thick of it in the Costa Rica Classic on the World Poker Tour. are back at the final table of the Costa Rica Classic. We still have five players left, and they are vying for the biggest slice of nearly $250,000. I'm Vince Van Patten, along with Mike Sexton, and we are here to call the action. Right now, the first place will get over $100,000, and we'll also get a guaranteed seat at the WPT Championship at Bellagio. And right now, it looks like Luis Milanes is dominating this field. Well, he's still our chip leader, but Vince, he's had some missteps along the way, but he's still well in command of this tournament. Let's watch this. Well, the action's on Dewey Tomka. Now, Dewey only has 19,000 in chips, and remember, it's 4,500 to play around. So he's got to make a stand. Now, Dewey, Dewey formerly in. known as the Phantom, has just moved all in with King Jack of Diamonds. Well, I don't blame him at all with the King Jack of Diamonds. I'd have moved all in right there, too. But look at this. Here comes Luis. Luis has an ace jack, and he's and called Luis Dewey. Calls. That's an amazing call. And Jaime folds, and Jamie folds, and Jose folds. 
But you know what? He figures it's only about 19,000. And you know what? I can break him. This could be it for Dewey. This is actually a nice call by Luis right here. He's in a dominating position. It's Ace Jack versus the King Jack of Diamonds. Dewey Tomko needs some help, or he is going to be our fifth place finisher. It's Ace Jack versus King Jack. Here comes the flop. Okay, at this point, that doesn't help either player. Of course, it keeps Lewis in front. It actually gives Dewey a straight draw. He can win this pot with a 10 or a king right now. That's right. Open-ended. A 10. It's a miracle. And there it is. A miracle. Well, look at Luis. Look. Look at him. He's pat. He reaches. He's now, he shakes his hand, but Luis can still win this pot if a king comes off. A queen comes off. It's a queen, so, so Dewey is going to double What are you going to do? I mean, you catch the inside straight, the hand before that, and now this guy catches it on you. I mean, it's like poker justice. At this time, he's doubled up a very dangerous player. Dewey Tomko has doubled up. He is back in this competition. Dewey Tomko is a gambler. He's cashed in millions on the golf course, the sports book, and the poker table. He knows the way to win is to first lose your illusions about yourself. My strength is probably playing after the flop, after you see the cards. And my weakness is probably playing the way we are right now, just showdown poker. Basically, everybody moves in and, and prays. If Dewey knows himself, his opponents know him too. I think the best player at the table is Dewey Tomko. We always keep eye on Dewey. Dewey's a tremendous player. He's a dogs. Dewey Tomko is a gambler who doesn't take risks. He knows his strengths and he likes his chances. I think I got a good a shot as anybody. I'm going to try to do my best and I actually think I'll win. He knows in poker anything can happen. Whether it's right or wrong, I've got a game plan already established. It might work out, it might not, you know. There's times it hasn't worked out before. <laughs> If you look at Luis, he sure doesn't look like he's the major chip leader with over two to one chip lead over everybody because he just doubled up Dewey. He looks a little bit deflated to me. Well, he's still got 164,000. He's in a commanding lead. But you're right. You take a couple hits here and there and you can get down on yourself. But do you know what? That's the mark of a great player, great athlete, whatever you want to call it, that they can come back. They have the composure. Well, let's see if that's an omen for Dewey. He's the first to act here and he picks up two sixes. Those sixes just seem to be pushed around the table.